What's going on everybody? Pretty exciting today's video. It's gonna be different than any video we've done before. And that's because I'm headed to the post office to pick up a package that is gonna be, I think, pretty cool. So I'm gonna get to the post office and I will check in with you then. Here it is, folks. The Amazon package. Look at that smile. Alright, I'm gonna get home and we're gonna unbox this puppy and I will show you what is hidden within this box. Catch you then. Alright, let's get out our handy dandy opener. Which actually, I wanna show you guys this knife my cousin gave me. I don't know where he got it, but it has this really cool locking system. It's made by a brand called Okapi, which is a German brand, and this is a really old knife. I want to say it's from the 40s, but you pull up on this, here, let me, you pull up on this, and that's what disengages it, and then you fold it. But, as you can see, it has these little, it's almost like a little gear, but it locks into place with this piece of metal. Completely unrelated, but this is very cool. Thank you, DJ. So we're going to use it to unbox this. Let's see. Slice. I need to sharpen it, actually. Get it here. And then across the top. I want to say this is actually our first unboxing on this channel. Our first legit unboxing. Oh, boxception, folks. Now we have a cool little box. And it's actually showing the product on it. Alright folks, I know this isn't the best angle, but I wanted to give you a little bit better angle when we actually unbox this box. So here we can see, here's the brand. Here's what it is. It even shows a model number and, wow, actually the Amazon link right here. And right here on the back, if you want to pause, you can read this. Uh, the coating is waterproof as long as the plating is not damaged. So, basically it sounds like it's got a, probably like a clear uh, coating on it. But if you bump it around a lot, it's probably going to start rusting eventually which is something to look out for. But there we have some tips on the back as you can see. Now let's unbox it. It's actually a, it's like a nice box. It's got nice printing on it. It doesn't look like it's cheaply made. And for a $15 magnet, I mean, this is actually the one that Amazon recommended. Uh, so I guess I mean, I guess that means a lot of people have bought this one. And it had very good reviews. So here we got it open. What's this? We got a little uh, magnet manual here. I guess it's just giving us some information on the magnet. Let's see what else. Show. <laughs> Do you guys see Savage Run too? Looks like it's showing the different parts and some different uh, measurements. Oh, it actually shows their other models too. You guys can. Look at that whenever you order your own, though. So here we got a piece of foam. It's nicely packaged. And here's the magnet itself. Let's see, I'll pick that up later, guys. Don't worry about it. So, actually, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Now, as I said earlier, this is a 330 pounder. But it's really, it's really heavy, though. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I can see that finish they're talking about. It's kind of making it, like, shiny. this uh, actually twists off so before I use it I think it actually even recommended this on the uh, product page it said you need to put some Loctite or some super glue on it around these threads because over time this could come unthreaded as you're throwing it so if you don't know what magnet fishing is it's kinda like metal detecting in a way where you tie a rope onto this and you throw it into a body of water. Usually I see them do it around 
uh, boat docks, sorry about that, boat docks or boat ramps, places where people are going to be losing stuff like sunglass, or uh, well, I guess they could be metal sunglasses, but things like knives or pliers or keys even. And they use this to try to find that stuff. And it looks like they have a lot of fun. So I want to do some videos on magnet fishing. So I got this one. It's $15. I'll leave a link uh, in the description below. But I went with the 330 power. It's not the weakest one they make. But I didn't want to go with one of the heavy duty big boys. Because they're a lot more expensive. And if this ends up being something I'm not super interested in, um, I don't want to have wasted 70 bucks on one. So, my first impressions is this is really nice quality, actually. I wasn't expecting much for its price, because these magnets can be really expensive, but this one seems really nice. Uh, I need to get a nice rope for it. It looks like it's kind of going to use a smaller diameter rope that's okay we can utilize you guys can go back if you buy one of these you can look up fisherman safety knot that would be a very good knot for this just put a single fisherman safety knot on here and a lot of people I see on YouTube actually wrap it in duct tape but I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that actually because I want to be able to reuse the rope and I'm afraid it's gonna make the rope all sticky so if you put a good knot, I don't think you need to worry about it. Alright everybody, so that I think is going to do it for this unboxing video. Our first unboxing video on this channel. Well, uh, I think we, a long time ago we did the salt armor face masks, but we didn't really unbox it. We just had the package and pulled it out because we had previously unboxed it because we were too excited. But this I actually waited for. You guys saw the video. Um... This has been the, what is it called? Let's see, let me grab my trash. Wakong Neodymium Fishing Magnet. Uh, so far, a very good item. Future video, you guys watch out. I'm going to be doing some magnet fishing videos very soon, probably. So you guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching all of our videos, uh, especially our not videos. We wanted to do something that was informational, and they're a lot of fun to do, and there will be some more of those coming soon. So guys, thank you for watching, and gals, sorry if you ever feel left out, I don't mean to do that, uh, but thank you. Remember to stay outside.